Welcome back on Dynamod. Today I want to propose you a video about uh, the new set of fucked lists for Warhammer 40k by the console shop in June 2021. Remember that uh, I'll talk only about the new updates and fuck related because I have yet to talk about them and so I invite you to go in the description and see the previous facts that uh, you can find the link about so that you can go to see also those ones. And now we can go to see about uh, Codex Space Marine 2020. The first update that we find uh, is related about the Guerrilla Tactics Stratagem, the see and adding uh, to its working. And it's related about that those units with the keyword Phobos, they can, yes, be put out of uh, the battlefield and in reserves, but that unit cannot arrive from strategic reserves in the same turn it is placed into strategic reserves. So it means that if you're going to do this, you can't use such stratagem to redeploy in the same turn the units to conquer objectives or so on, but you have to wait for the next point phase. So remember that there is such limitation and it's really quite important about how you can use such stratagem because uh, it changes a lot uh, the thoughts that you can have about using this. And then we have an important change and bad one about the warrior traits for the flesh tears. The C, the massless butcher warrior trait, change in a bad way. In fact now we have that from each time this warlord fights if there are five or more enemy models within three inch of it it can make d3 additional attack to each time this warlord is select to fight make one a single one additional attack with one of its melee weapons for every five enemy model within an inch of it to a maximum of three additional attacks so that you have to have a maximum one to have 15 models within three inch of your Lord, and it's a bad thing because okay, now you're sure and you don't have to roll, but uh, it means that uh, at the same time, before you could have realized that for five enemy models, you would have been able to have more attacks. So, the world take that before would have been quite interesting. Now, it's maybe to choose something else if uh, you're going to play with. So, it's a bad change, in my opinion, and uh, it's something that. Uh, I don't uh, understand why, because it was not so overpowered and at the same time it's uh, a really decreasing power for the flesh leader if they want to select such a trait. Then we have an important errata for the Venerable Dreadnought that see in the World Gear option that has an additional bullet point so that if this mod is from the Space Wolf chapter, so it's only about this one, or one of uh, its successor chapters, its stone bolter can be replaced with one heavy flame, so it's a, a weapon option that you can change and so it's always uh, an improvement because okay, it's applied only the Space Wolf, but uh, it's always something that you can need, so good that uh, has been added something. And then there is a fact that it's quite important to understand how to use the Teleportor, Armor Kerubi or Watch in the Dark in the case that you have a unit and you split it in combat squads. In fact, it says that if a unit is split into two units because of its combat squad ability, only one of those units can use the Teleportor, Armor Kerubi, Watch in the Dark ability. You do not have to declare which unit will get to use that ability when the unit split up. Every unit can use that ability during the battle. So the potential to use it is always there till you don't use it. In fact, once used, that ability has been used and remember that you can't use anymore for ever of such combat squad. So it's important that it's something that it means that you have the option but that option disappear when you use it for that original unit so not mind the splitting when it's used no other part of the unit can use and you don't have to declare which one so it means that you have a lot of potential still remaining in this unit themselves so quite interesting and then a fact that uh, it's uh, quite important, it's uh, a fact that uh, it's a duplicate uh, as 
audio of the one that uh, we can see in the core book one about the facts of June 2021 but it's quite important so I decided to make also in such video because if you are going to play the apothecary it's almost a must to remember that you have so now we go to see that fuck and then we have an important add to the re rule restricted mode that make that modest that were destroyed and return to a unit do not count as already have lost wounds or already had attacks allocated to them during this phase. It means that you can absorb more attacks or eventually it doesn't prevent weak models to not being targeted so, so to save the unit because they have yet received attacks. So it's quite an important one that it's quite important for example for Space Marines armies or Necron ones anyway it's a rare rule adding that you have to remember. So what to say about these facts, I think the one about the strategy about the Phobos, it was something that it had a need to be done so, as I'm surprised about the one about the teleport armor or so on. The one that I'm really not happy about is the one about the flesh tier or trait that I find it really quite awful. Anyway, you have to remember about this and remember that if you are going to play with the Space Marines, I suggest you to go also to see the facts related about the core book because they are really quite important to remember. Anyway, from Dynamod it's everything. I invite you to put a like on this video, to subscribe to the channel, to ring the bell and to comment this video if you are interested in something about this video or you want to suggest me some arguments for other videos. I hope to see you again to the next time.